here's the actual switch. I can use the command show openflow instance and the configured instance flows. The command used would be dependent on the switch that you're using. So this is an HP switch, but you could do something similar with open V switch or other switches. But scrolling down through the flow table, what you'll notice here is a flow entry. Source address is this, that's John. Destination address is this, that's Mary's PC. It's UDP traffic with a source port number and destination port number. And notice the apply actions here are to modify the DSCP and PCP bits of packets that match this flow entry and then forward it using the traditional pipeline. So in this example, OpenFlow is not being used to manipulate the flow of traffic. So we're not implementing traffic engineering or some other type of manipulation of traffic. What we're simply doing here is using OpenFlow to dynamically mark traffic with a certain DCP and cost of value. And then we are allowing traditional mechanisms to prioritize the traffic based on the DCP and cost setting. So your traditional quality of service queuing, rate limiting, and other features would be implemented in the infrastructure. All we're doing here is setting the classification and marking dynamically of traffic on the edge of the network. OpenFlow only has to be enabled on edge switches. These two switches are separated by a third switch not running OpenFlow. Our topology looks as follows. Mary and John are connected to these two edge switches, which are separated by a non-OpenFlow switch. DSCP marking and COS marking is being done on the edge. When the call is terminated, so I'll end the call and end the desktop sharing. Within Network Optimizer for link, we can see the call end times, information about the DSCP for application sharing and audio sharing is shown here. So we have a record of calls and graphics can be used to show extra information about calls that have taken place as an example. The advantage here is rather than setting up access lists that statically configure quality of service on the edge switches, quality of service is dynamically configured when calls are established when the calls are torn down, the quality of service parameters are removed. So notice we don't have any entries for our users. The only quality of service configured here is for traffic being sent to the link front end server. The user's quality of service has been removed. But if we make another call, so let's say Mary calls John, I'll answer the call. So the call is now established. When we refresh the flow entry of the switch, notice OpenFlow rules have been dynamically written to the switches to prioritize traffic between these two users using the dynamic port numbers as selected by Microsoft Link. If we share our desktop once again. And accept that desktop share. And then refresh the flow table of the switch. You'll notice that new flows have been written to the switches to prioritize traffic. So this is desktop sharing and this is the audio call. Once again, the values used are set using this interface and there are default values pre-configured for you. When we end the call, and look at the flow table of that switch, the flow entries 
are removed. The network optimizer for link tells you whether quality of service was configured on the switches and tells you what the desired values are and what the configured values are. So in our example, a DSCP of 46 was configured on the audio call and AF31 or 26 was configured on the application sharing. 